Hi folks, Mark with MD Custom Fly Rods. Uh, just uh, getting started in here on this uh, six weight uh, rod here, this build I put up last week that we're going to be starting on. This is a uh, North Fork composite, six weight, beta gamma, oh, that is going to be mainly used as a streamer rod. Um, just getting everything prepped. First step here is getting it wiped down from this point forward until everything is done. The finish is sealed on it. I will not touch this blank. And if you see this point right up here is when setting these rods together, when I'm doing this finish, I put a little bit of Teflon tape on there just to make sure nothing sticks together and I have a good overlapping. Uh, get everything cleaned here. Uh, we want the best adhesion we can. Gonna be adding uh, a little bit of red metallic flake onto this. Whoops. A little bit of red metallic flake onto this. And as usual, I'm going with my go-to on sealing the this, since the customer wants this sealed, is, is the uh, U40 Permagloss. Uh, U40 Permagloss. Uh, once again, it seems to be the best for this doing this sort of work. Uh, hands down, if you're going to do your own rod or have somebody do it, uh, this would I have... This is what I recommend, and this is what I would recommend you have them use. Um, it just seems the lifespan of it. I have not heard of it breaking down, and this company's been in business for years, years, and years. So um, uh, it's recommended by most all rod blank manufacturers. So I will. Get this measured on out, get this finished up, and it will be applied in a into the trusty airbrush, which is my preferred method of applying. So I will get this going and get some shots of the application and come back again and then also get some applied pictures of post-application. See you in a little bit. Okay, back here, just getting the airbrush loaded with our finish. Got everything mixed. The lid on. And as I said, this is the six weight North Fork composite. Gary Loomis designed beta gamma rod. Cannot say too many good things about it. Uh, the North Fork composite rods. Um, and I said this is kind of my preferred way of applying. Um, need a. I think uh, gives it a little bit smoother, but yeah, the uh, North Fork composite rods, I think, are by far one of the more superior blanks you can get. Um, most anything honestly designed by Gary Loomis is going to be in that whole realm of really good and worth whoops and worth the uh, investment you get or you make from uh, or spend on it. Um, and once again is is for the most part, if you're going with a custom rod, it's worth it. Um, yeah, I like that. Let's put this section up real quick here. Um, a lot of the blanks you get are foreign made, and I'm not even going to criticize some of those. Um, you've got epic blanks, which I really like are really good they are um epic is 
a New Zealand company, but their blanks are made in uh, Taiwan. Uh, I'm sorry, in uh, Korea. Um, same as a lot of Scott blanks. Um, a lot of the... Um, uh, Moonshine makes theirs. They're made in there, but... Uh, so... All I really say is, is don't discount where a blank is made on the quality, but personally, I do try to go with American made. Just generally, I cannot say enough good things about the American made. I do not know of a bad American made blank. Um, the Winston blanks are top notch. The North Fork composites are top notch. Uh, even the blanks that you get from, uh, Mudhole, the, uh, native, uh, blanks, I've made several rods out of there. They are a very cost effective. And if you are learning or wanting to learn how to build your own rod, that is a place to start. Um, they are very good. So I am going to go ahead and continue this process because this is going to take a while and I will get back to you and after this process is complete and I will show you the end result. Okay, this is actually the next day. Um, got uh, had a few bit of audio program, uh, audio issues on the setup so and I had to kind of get going. Had a Cheap Trick Heart tickets last night, so I had to go see Heart and Cheap Trick, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show down the uh, final product. Um, unable to take it outside into the really get a good appreciation of it for its uh, heavy downpours all day today, so I will just do a quick viewing of this here. Um, I'm not sure if we can get this in real good here but it will but it is dried up done up and get ready to take this on out and and this out now here is this and so I've had some here is this is where I run a little bit of Teflon tape because this I want to remain uh, this section of the blank unpainted unfinished uh, just we have good seating when we go to put the pieces together again in the future and just the Teflon tape gives me just enough separation and I usually run some of it up towards the front which I did in this case, but I already took it off all the way up here. That way, in case any of the permagloss doesn't bleed down into the other section. So, we are good here. We are set to go. I am going to end up pulling this out of the... Uh, out of the dryer. And it's actually going to get set off to the side. I will go ahead and... At this point, my next step on the blank is to find the spine, and then I will do my marks for the spine, which, and at that same time, I will also put on my alignment marks, because I use my alignment marks. I've got special alignment marks that I use, um, and I'll get those put on, and then there will be a final coat in certain areas of the permagloss. And I will show that as well. My next step in this process, which I will go ahead and start today, is the uh, real seat. It will take a couple days on this rod. I'm doing something a little bit different. I, as I went to go and uh, start cutting out a piece of hickory that I had for um, the real seat, I noticed it was a little bit split and a little bit on the side was a little bit rough and everything so i was like uh 
wasn't sure quite what to do. Then I kind of got thinking about it. And I've seen some of these people doing some different things with epoxy. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to step outside my wheelhouse and we'll see how it goes. I am going to go ahead and uh, take the real seat and get and build up a little mold and pour epoxy on in with some of the additional dye and chameleon metallic flake in with the epoxy let that set up and then get that and then get it turned in the uh uh no get that just turned on out and see how that uh works out so uh thanks for joining um next video will probably be up next week and we'll probably have that real seat up and going i will try to get a few short videos out of stuff going on throughout the week little tidbits here and there um you have any questions Comment, send me an email, uh, comment, try to answer them, get out, take your friends and family fishing, have a good time, it's one of the best ways to bond, like and subscribe, have a great day, thank you.